You know, I was thinking about this the other day. Martial arts, what we do, it's only for men. It's only for guys. Totally. What are you guys totally talking about? about? Martial arts is made for girls. In this video, I'm going to break down exactly why every female should do martial arts. So let's be honest. Back in the day, martial arts training was primarily dominated by men. In fact, in the early days of martial arts training here in the U.S., women were mostly ostracized from actually participating in martial arts. And those that did, didn't last that long because the training was so brutal and hardcore that they couldn't keep up with it. But these days, martial arts training has come so far. And that's why so many women, just like myself, start martial arts. I actually started when I was a little girl and I grew up doing martial arts. The benefits that children that start martial arts have as they grow up is absolutely amazing, but specifically for females. Some of the things that I attribute for myself, my own character development, is because of what I learned as a little girl doing martial arts. I learned that I could be confident. I learned that I could stand up and I could do just as well as the boys that were standing next to me. I didn't have to be as strong. I didn't have to be as quick. I could stand in my own individuality to be able to do what I knew that I could do. And then that led to something else that I didn't anticipate. And that led to self mastery and self discipline. You see, from learning that initial part of that confidence that I gained, I began to develop skill sets that frankly, the boys around me weren't able to mimic and weren't able to keep up with. And at that time, I was able to move into that self mastery and mastery of martial arts that allowed me to eventually compete at the highest levels. I did kickboxing competitions, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I even stepped inside the cage as an MMA fighter. And if it weren't for what I learned as a martial artist very young, none of those things would have actually been possible. Okay, so let's say that you are a mom or a dad that's watching this and you're actually considering maybe I should get my daughter started in martial arts training, but you're a little concerned about what the dynamic on the floor is gonna be like. Like, is it gonna be mostly with boys that are in the classes? What's gonna happen when they have to work together as partners on the mat? I just wanna break down what we do here at SKC and how so many females thrive in our program. So first of all, when your daughter is out on the mat, she's not gonna be treated any differently just because she's a girl. In fact, when she's on the mat, she's gonna be empowered, just like all the other kids are, to show off her skills, to be able to have pride in what she's doing out there. And also, when it comes down to partnering and pairing up with different students, primarily we pair the kids up by female or male or also by size. So that way we can make sure that as the kids are working the different techniques, whether it be working together, holding mitts, maybe holding targets, or even doing self-defense techniques, they can get a more realistic understanding of what it would be like if they ever were confronted and had to use martial arts as self-defense. Speaking of self-defense, I think that that's the number one reason why every female should do martial arts. Beyond just the character development of being confident and having self-discipline, there is an element of knowing what you should do in a self-defense situation. And there's a big difference between having an idea that I should do something or actually knowing that you could defend yourself or at least get to the point where you could get away from a very dangerous situation. The reality is, is that the longer you spend in martial arts training, the more adept that you should become at defending yourself. So if we have a child who started in martial arts as a little girl and now she's 18 and headed off to college, there's a lot more that she can say for herself and her own capability to defend herself than someone who waits until they're 18 to start martial arts training. So if you're thinking to yourself, I think martial arts might be a good fit for my daughter, or maybe you're a female that's watching this and you're going, but I'm already an adult, could I do this? The answer to both of those questions is yes. And if you're an adult, you're a female and you're considering starting martial arts training, but you're also watching this video going, well, she said that when they start young, they actually do better as they get older. That's true, but at the same point, you have to understand that you need to start somewhere. And so your martial arts journey doesn't have to start as a child, but your martial arts journey can start today. And when you're training in martial arts, not only are you developing the physical side, whether that's losing weight, getting in better shape, improving your strength, or the mental and the character development side, having confidence and having discipline. 
but you're also allowing yourself the opportunity to learn something that could potentially save your life one day or save the lives of those that you care about most. So if you are considering martial arts training for yourself or for your daughter, consider SKC because SKC is the place to be.